Dear students, today we will discuss phylum Cylentrata. The animals having sac-like body. These are nidarians having special type of stinging sense, nidoblast, nematoblast. And due to presence of radial symmetry, this phylum is also named radiata. Tere bacho, hum discuss karne hai phylum Cylentrata. प्यारे बच्चों जितने भी हमने नोट्स बनाए हैं उन सब की पीडीएफ फाइल हमने वीडियो लेक्चर उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन में अपलोड कर दी है सभी बच्चे अपने नोट्स डाउनलोड कर ले ये स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस टॉपिक फाइलम सिलेंटेटा दिस इज सेकंड लेक्चर एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ फाइलम सिलेंटेटा इन टुडेस लेक्चर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज स्टिंगिंग सेल्स nidoblast nematoblast these are special type of cells which are characteristic features of this phylum cylentrata and these cells stinging cells which are used for defense for offense and food capture the study of these nidoblast that study is named nidology dear students this stinging cell having a special type of structure and that sac like structure which is stinging organ that is nematocyst and each nematocyst having a this oval double walled structure this one is capsule and this elongated thread like structure that is thread tube the basal part of this thread tube which is named butt or shaft and it possesses one two three needle like structures these are named stylets or these are named barbs as well as on this butt region upper region one two three spiral rows of spines or barbules named spinelets are present these stylets and these spines are involved in making hole in the body of prey and this entire structure capsule that is filled with a poisonous substance and that poisonous substance is hypnotoxin all neat students competitive exam student this entire structure capsule which is filled with the toxin the hypnotoxin that is a poisonous substance which is a mixture of proteins plus phenol and this poisonous substance is injected into the body of prey through this elongated thread like structure that is thread tube on the surface of this capsule you dekhe bachcho some refractile rods are present and these refractile rods give rise which give rise fine thread like contractile fibers as well as in this structure in this stinging cell another thread like structure and this thread like structure is lasso all these structures contractile fibers and this lasso prevent prevent this capsule from being protrusion at the time of discharge of nematocyst in normal conditions this entire structure is but that directed inward and this tubular structure this thread tube that remains coiled around this butt next property next characteristic feature of this phylum body cavity in case of cylentrates true coelom is absent not down all competition students no coelom like phylum polyphera this phylum these cylentrates also acylomates the main body cavity of cylentrates the main body cavity ka bachcho that main body cavity of cylentrates is cylentro in case of polyphera in case of sponges the main body cavity was spongosy but in these animals these are cylentrates the main body cavity is cylentro or it is gastrovascular cavity because this cavity involves in digestion of food as well as the circulation of food 
gastro digestion plus vascular circulation of food next important property next important pro pro property that is body form generally the cilantrates are found in groups in colonies a few forms like hydra also found singly it is solitary forms but among the most of cilantrates are colonial as in case of obelia is obelia colony having three forms pollen blastostyle and medusa so these are trimorphic but but so in some cases in some cilantrates like physalia like porpita like valinda several forms are there so these cilantrates have a characteristic feature they show polymorphism means having more than two forms generally in case of cilantrates two forms are common each colony having generally two members these are named juts one is nutritive cum protective jute and that nutritive cum protective jute is polyp or hydrant and this polyp or hydrant it is sedentary it is fixed and it is flower like while the second member second form second jute is that is medusa which is free swimming it is saucer shaped or it is umbrella shaped it is a sexual jute and this polyp hydrant it is asexual jute generally in a colony both these forms they alternate with each other in their life cycle they alternate polyp and medusa this phenomenon is named alternation of generation and not down all need students this property of alternation of generation of polyp and medusa in the life cycle that is metagenesis humne kaha jo alternation of generation one form polyp alternate with medusa alternation of generation metagenesis next property is skeleton in case of cilantrates both types of skeleton exoskeleton as well as endoskeleton both types of skeleton well developed as in case of obelia colony the exoskeleton in the form of perisarc hum ek abjo perisarc and this exoskeleton perisarc which encloses the entire body in case of tubularia in this tubularia hum dekhenge bachcho massive calcareous spicules in the form of tubes they produce exoskeleton in case of tubularia massive calcareous synoestium and that exoskeleton synoestium that is a characteristic feature of millipora horny material and that horny material of exoskeleton which is named gorgony in case of gorgonia another massive calcareous exoskeleton which is highly branched and this one is named very important very important for all competitive exams it is corellum in matripora and but so some endoskeleton and that endoskeleton develops in the form of in the form of spicules as in case of l sirenium in case of l sirenium can you think bachcho in that mesen kind which is fleshy mesen kind named cnen kind and it is endoskeleton it is found in the forms of separate spicules which are calcareous spicules in case of hydra in some forms of cilantrates the body fluid that body fluid acts as 
endoskeleton. It is hydraulic endoskeleton. Nutrition. Another important point. Another important point that is nutrition. The cylindrates are carnivorous. And which are all are holozoic mode of nutrition. Holozoic, complete animal life mode of nutrition. And these are carnivorous. Dietitian note down, but dietitian that is partly intracellular means dietitian occurs inside the cells as well as dietitian occurs in the gastrovascular cavity means dietitian is partly extracellular within the cell and partly it is intercellular outside the cells. More types of dietitian intera within a cell, intercellular outside the cell. And the digestive system, only mouth is present, no anus, it is incomplete digestive tract. And in case of digestion, also, these are carnivores, there is no amylase, it means in all cylindrates, there is no digestion of starch, means starch remains undigested. Next important property that is respiration. All these cylindrates are aerobic in mode of respiration. And that exchange of gases takes place through general body surface. Excretion. Not now this point. Excretion. All cylindrates are ammonotelic. It means the chief, the main excretive product is ammonia. And that ammonia, that waste product is removed through general body surface. So, we will discuss the very important characteristic features of this phylum cylindrica. In next lecture, we will cover some more important points. Thank you.